hey guys welcome back welcome back to my channel thank you very much for being here remember to like share comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend about these maths videos they're very useful free to make your requests and i'll be happy to make them for you make them happen Alrighty, so for today's video i'm going to be explaining the concept for compound inequalities as you can see, the videos are not like before where I come with quest, um, with the paper all written up and be explaining it. I am just covering the basic concept, so I'm just giving you a overview of it. If you need more like in detail concept or detailed understanding of it, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll have the guided notes for you if you are not the person who can listen and follow what I speak. As it says about compound inequality, this is similar to English, like compound sentences, where you have more than one simple sentence forming like a compound sentence, all right? So with compound inequalities, we have most small inequalities joining together to form one inequality, all right? So normally with compound inequalities, you're either being asked to solve they can ask you to solve, they can ask you to, to graph it. And when I say graph, it can be on a number line or it can be on a coordinate plane. All right? Yeah, that's what I normally ask you to graph, coordinate plane, or to write the interval. Yeah, they ask to write the interval as well. So for today's um, video, I'm going to explain to you how to, how to do this. Alright, so let's get right into it. So compound inequality, one typical example, maybe 10 is less than or equal to 2x, which is less than 4. And here you ask to solve and graph on a number line all right so with this component inequality here you see they have two regions so it can be read twice and normally you read it from the center to your left or to your right and the center is where you normally have the unknown variable could be anything from a to z all right so in this region it says 2x i'm going to go this direction first it says 2x is greater than or equal to 10 and 2x is less than 4 okay so with this region if you actually solve you basically want x to be by itself like normal equations or in equations so what we do guys is to simplify by solving so here we have 2x so to get x by itself we have to divide by 2 we normally divide by two on both sides, but since in this region we have a double side, an inequality on each side, so we are gonna have to divide by two throughout. So let me rewrite it for you, so you can follow cleanly. So we're gonna divide by two in the middle, divide by two on either end, okay? So in this case, you're balancing the inequality. Even though inequalities can only be balanced if it is less than or equal to greater than or equal to, but in this case, you're basically dividing by the coefficient so you're not changing the initial question. Okay? So I'm still going to use the word balancing here. So here we're going to be simplifying. So this two cancels that one. So x is less than, that will give us what? Two x is less than 2 but on the other side left hand side we have a 10 so we divide these we get 5 so x is greater than or equal to 5 here you could be asked to re you could ask to rewrite this given two in equations so if you ask to rewrite it you basically read from the middle to your left so you say is x is greater than or equal to so greater than or equal to 5 and, or you want to say, or, 
it says x is less than 2 okay x equal to 5 and x is less than 2 so this is basically you splitting these splitting the given compound into the two simple inequalities so from here you're going to be asked to graph it and to graph it basically telegraph graph to the number line and as you know i'm going to identify five and two instead of right you know zero one two three four five i'm going to do that so that's my zero And you know you have the negative on that side, all right? So I'm gonna find five. And I'm gonna find two. So the concept I taught you earlier in the previous video, if you don't remember, I am going to bring back that to your memory. So it's right here. So when I speak about the number line, I'm gonna make the paper smaller. When I speak about the number line. We have ways of representing the inequalities. So here, let me put a little. So x is less than 1. So x is less than 1 point in that way, greater than going the opposite direction, and they're both unshaded. Less than equal to, greater than equal to, they're both shaded circles. All right, so these are things we need to remember when we are doing the number line. And I explained it to you in the previous video. If you missed that one, go back and check it out. It's pretty simple. All right, so using this concept, guys, we're now going to graph the two in equations given. So x is greater than or equal to 5. So you see, or equal, so when we're inside 5, it can be 5. So we're going to shade that circle. And it's pointing, it says greater than, so number is greater than 5, would be, or equal to 5 would be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and this goes on. So you go in this direction, all right? So we're moving in this, in that direction. For this one, it says X is less than two. So again, less than two means two is not in the answer. So X is less than two, indicate two. Less than two will be the region moving to your left. All right, guys, so this is basically the concept surrounding inequalities. So you see for that. One thing I want to point out again, guys, is that the same principle we spoke about earlier that we are going to be dividing by a negative number what happens to the sign. We need to remember that principle right now so blah, 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 let's put a six right here so in this case guys we have nine is less than or equal to negative three x which is greater than six here we have a negative coefficient so we have to divide by the negative number throughout the in equation and remember when you divide or multiply by a negative number the sign changes so that cancels so x so this is no longer greater than or equal to it's going to be less than or equal to all right so that's going to be negative three and on this side this will no longer be greater than it will now be less than and they're going to give us a negative two so from here guys you should know how to graph it either on a number line or on a cartesian plane if you have any question, feel free to leave it below and I'll be happy to assist you. Thank you for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you on the next video.